Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here on my friend's channel on Car TV and I will present you the new Tesla Model 3 long range dual motor 2020 and we will go through details, interior, a little bit of drive test and I hope you will enjoy it. So let's do it guys. Okay, we will start with the headlamps. We have LED lights, guys, right here. Even the daylight, it's up here. This is the LED. Also, we have the fog lamps that are also LED down here. Right here, the blinkers are also LED and are right here and also on the side of the car. Um, in the back as well, we have full LED lights guys and also you can see the LED the nice lines look fantastic so guys the car can be also controlled from the application right here we have the application from the car and here you can lock the car from the button also unlock the car uh, also if you go to controls you can open the trunk and the trunk from the application also you can make it flash the lights as you can see right now you can make it honk you can start it and you can open the front. Uh, talking about the front, let's go inside and let me show you uh, the space right here in the front. It is big enough to put your, your, your um, suitcase or whatever you want to put right here. Uh, I never use it because it's a lot of space in the back. Also, we have another uh, light right here. So, um, in my opinion, it is big enough. Other than that, there we have the uh, wipers water here we are in the trunk right now we have a big big entrance in the trunk uh, in my opinion it's very long that you can put here a lot of stuff in my opinion it's super long you have another place right here where you can put your stuff big enough so you can stick there many many things other than that it's not only that it's big trunk but we have under the floor right here the cables and another huge space where you can put your stuff um, so in my opinion the space and the, the, the space and the trunk and the front it's amazing in this car you don't have to worry about the space all right guys so going here in the back here we have a lot of space as well as you can see down here it's not like in normal cars we don't have that bump so for free people the legs room here it is gorgeous also we have two usb port usb 2 port here and the vents uh, up here on the on the roof we have these nice led lights and also um, right here we have two usb c ports other than that we have just a hook right here when you can where you can put your stuff and in the middle we have two cup holders um, if you need to drink something in the back it's, it's really really great also some storage space behind the uh, driving seat space in the back right here it's big enough for me i have plenty of leg room plenty of headroom right here i can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat and the position it's it's really good all right guys so now you can see that you can fold down the seat as well in the back and you have an amazing space right here it's super long you can even sleep right here i see many people that sleep inside the teslas and also in this model 3 if you need to carry big long items um, this is the perfect place and also we have a lot of space down here on the legs left for your, for your for your things all right here in the back guys we have alcantara on the doors right here here we have soft material everywhere we have also this vegan leather on the handles right here glossy plastic uh, on the buttons a lot of storage space 
uh, we have a speaker in the door. Also here we have these vegan leather seats in black that are soft and they are very nice and comfortable. Going in the front right now and as you can see the handles of the door are kind of uh, half mechanical, half electric. We have frameless windows uh, in the front, the same Alcantara, the same quality in the front, Model 3 logo right there, electric adjustable seat right here and also uh, we have a nice side support for sporty driving and going inside we have some wood right here on the dashboard and soft material everywhere even a speaker right there in the front so the visibility inside the car it's pretty good because we have a simple dashboard right here also going inside here we have a lot of storage space you can put your stuff right here or even down there you have a lot of stuff and also an led light two cup holders uh, another big space right here where you can put your stuff also we have two usb ports right there one can be used for sentry mode uh, as you know the car can record um, every things what happened around the car while it's parking and while you're driving uh, i just want to show you the cameras that the car have we have a camera right here on the side of the blinkers on the both side another camera it's right there um, with the sensors and also another camera it's right here behind the numbers um, by the way we have led lights also on the numbers and uh, those camera can can record around the car and uh, when sometimes when something happened around the car uh, you will uh, the video will be recorded on the uh, USB stick that you see it uh, right uh, right here also the glow box can be opened from here from the screen and only for the screen so you can press the button and then it's the glow box pretty big um, and also I want to show you a few things right here a few options on the car so this is the exterior light then you have the light in the interior you have the ambient light on the legs uh, and also you have two little LED lights right here on the steering wheel then uh, you have the high beam the low beam headlight after exit you have some option here that you can change the lock the car with your phone or whatever you want to do it uh, you can change it the display here day night time you can see it in the night time in the daytime the way you want it also um, you have the driving I show you before autopilot the navigation option safety and security right here it's all about the car the sentry mode activate disactivate the way you want to have it and also the car have an alarm and tilt intrusion pin to drive and all that stuff also um, going forward we have the service information here the wiper service mode the manual of the car um, then we have the software right here so you can check for, check for update and all that stuff and all the information um, about the car are right there also um, something that I want to show you it's down here guys you have also the web option to go online um, if you want to um, go online you can you can go on every website you want and also the car have this entertainment where you can play games and also go in the theater and watch netflix youtube you can go on twitch and you can also see um, tesla tutorials here you have all the screen about the driving mode i think you see it before and also um, as you know the map uh, look great you have two options on the map you can see it just like that simple or you can go to satellite and you can see through the satellite very easy also you can see the charging charging station on on the on the screen right there so um, in my opinion uh, this is one of the best map on the market today so um, yeah I guess I almost show you everything the blinker it's right here on the on the roof also we have LED lights a beautiful beautiful a uh, mirror up here and also right here we have um, this mirror with LED lights. Also let's don't forget the roof of the car that in my opinion it's one of the most 
um, beautiful glass roof. The left side we have also the charging port uh, where you can charge the car. We have the CCS, the fastest um, charger possible today and you can charge the car with 150 kilowatt hour on the Tesla supercharger stations. Here we have 18 inch rims with those aero caps that help the aerodynamic of the car while you're driving. Uh, also the car have an amazing aerodynamic. You can see the shape of the car, the lines, the fact that the handles are integrated in the doors and also here in the front guys you can see that the air go on the side in the left, in the right, and that help the aerodynamic of the car a lot. All right guys, so now we are inside the car, we will drive a little bit and I will try to explain you uh, the feature of the car. So first time you have to press the brake, then here is the sticker to change the gearbox. You just go, for example, you go up if you wanna go in the reverse, then you have the camera right here. You don't have to use the mirrors. You have a perfect, perfect visibility while you're driving in reverse then from here it's very simple you just go all the way down in drive mode and then uh, you can go back to the road and you are in the drive mode right now and you can drive uh, very simple the car so let's turn around here um, you have also more driving option you go right here to the car guys then uh, go to the driving and then in driving you have this chill mode for example then the car it's driving more relaxing you can you can drive relaxing it's it's not the acceleration it's not so strong but if you go to standard mode then the acceleration will be much more uh, aggressive uh, every time you touch the acceleration the car it will it will run like like you can see right now it's super strong no matter how much speed you have the car the electric cars are amazing and they have an amazing acceleration then here you have the steering mode steering wheel mode right now it's on the standard as you can see the steering it's between sporty and comfort mode if you go to comfort then the steering wheel it's super soft and super easy for the city driving and if you go to sport mode then the steering wheel it's it's driving in a sport mode it's super heavy um, and it's it's more like a sport mode then you have the regenerative brake here it's on standard right now it's much more uh, stronger on standard every time you take the foot on the acceleration it's regenerate the brake you can see here the green line show you uh, that it's very aggressive if you go to low uh, then the regenerate it's much more uh, lower so it will regenerate much more slower usually I use it on standard then you have uh, the option, the stopping mode right here, we have it on hold every time you take the foot on the acceleration and you try to stop, then the car will stop, will go to a stop. For example, let me go here to show you. You take off the acceleration, you take off the foot from the acceleration and you can see immediately right now the car, let me show, let me go a little bit forward and the car will stop and not only stop, but it will activate the electronic brake as well. You can see the sign right there and you are while you are in driving. So right now all you have to do is just press the acceleration and the car will accelerate. And then roll mode, if you go to roll, then the car will not activate the electronic brake, will roll forward. And in the creep mode is the same like IC cars, the car will, um, will accelerate slowly uh, forward. So. Um, that was the information right here. Then we have the autopilot, something that I want to show you right now. You have the, the cruise following distance. You can choose the distance right here. You can see the distance between you and the car in front of you. And then you have the uh, speed warning display if you want to show or if you want to tell you the speed warning, uh, the car can can read the speed limit. It has this uh, option to, to see on the map how much is the speed. Then you have the speed limit, absolute relative. Uh, then you have a few um, options right here. You can see forward collision warning, medium, early, the way you wanna put it, lane, departure, avoidance. Then you have here assist, warning and all that stuff. And then you have the safety settings. 
uh, emergency brake, blind spot uh, and also lane departure and obstacle aware acceleration. Now we will drive a little bit guys and I try to show you, I just want to show you right now we are in drive with just similar with just blinking and then we go on the road and then how you activate from here you go one time you activate the cruise control you can see right now the car will keep the speed that you choose from this wheel for example right now i choose to go with with 45 and the car will keep the the speed but you have to turn uh, the steering wheel in the same time then if you go for example two times one and another one right now you see this blue steering wheel right there and the car will drive itself you can see the steering wheel it's driving it's seeing the bike in front of us the bike here and it keep the distance between you and the bike and the steering wheel it's also sometimes it tell you to put your hand on the steering wheel so this is a fantastic feature in my opinion it's really amazing sometimes you have to touch it this car of mine when you when you're blinking you have to stop it you have to do it manually but guys every time every time um, you have to blink you have to change the lanes you have to take it manually for now the, the tesla working in the future to make it all automatic also um, this car right here it doesn't have full self-driving this car have only the autopilot so you can see right here it is amazing even if it doesn't have all that uh, new autopilot the car still can drive and is doing a great great job um, uh, doing that right now here on the on the street it, do, it doesn't have this line between the lanes so it's a little bit complicated for the car to, to know where where should where it should drive but on the highway on the normal streets um, then it will be super super easy for the car as well so uh, actually right now you can see the street the car will see those lines between the lanes and the car will drive so let let me try again let me try to activate sometimes it gives you this error when he cannot activate it it gives you this error but now when right now when the steering wheel is there you go two times down and the car will drive itself and um, this is something amazing you can see the steering wheel it even know to take the curves right here you can see it's it's just amazing it's just amazing that the car can take those um, those uh, curves uh, without any problem so we can keep the distance between you and the other car uh, right there so it's it's just an amazing amazing feature now uh, the the consumption of the car is also amazing you can see we drive 12 kilometer we have 140 kilowatts so the consumption it's amazing also while you're driving you can see the camera right here so you can see in the back while you're driving you don't have to use the mirror up there you see in the back in the camera what's happened uh, behind you so this is another another uh, cool cool feature um, to have it on the car so this is something that I like very much uh, on this car um, so something that I want to show you right now guys so let me go here to the car and also I want to go to drive mode and we will go in in standard mode and I want to show you the acceleration of the car so guys now I want to show you the acceleration 0 to 100 it's amazing so you can see it right now uh, it's just just amazing so we are in 0 and okay so 100 guys it is amazing the acceleration of the car it's it's gorgeous even if you have uh, 50 kilometer for example right now and you press the acceleration the car it has this this uh, this great great uh, feeling and it's immediately accelerate doesn't matter which speed you have it is uh, fantastic electric cars have this um, and Tesla have this option uh, to drive really fast As you can see guys here 
we have a, an amazing radius the car turn uh, it's fantastic even in the in the uh, small places uh, the car turn uh, amazing really really great Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of those videos in the future, subscribe to Car TV channel and also subscribe to my channel SDA Dan Cars. You will find my link, my channel link in the description if you want to see this kind of video and all the new cars that come on the market. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you will be healthy, drive safe and see you soon in the next one.